Well, I see the uh, influence of social media and then uh, before when we had kind of proper media, uh, we, we had a, a chain uh, through a chain of filters uh, like uh, that the news had to pass through, like it goes to the reporter, reporter reports that to the editor, editor probably approves that or disapproves and then he double che he checks the facts and he finds other sources and then uh, it goes through the uh, chief editor. Right now there is no those filters, so any fake could be, uh, uh, could access public directly. And the public, uh, ordinary people themselves, they are not used, used to uh, check facts. And they could believe anything that, uh, that they were told. And so, uh, at some point, with the photography, we could, uh, we, we could be more trusted because we operate with, uh, uh, with a visual document documents mm -hmm. though sometimes it's also faked and used uh, the old archive photographs from other places I haven't seen that with my images but I saw that with uh, uh, images of other photojournalists who worked in Syria but yeah that's that's happening I, I have no no solution to that just just to be cautious about anything uh, striking uh, that that you were told that might be fake I don't have time to defend my <laughs> my work, but uh, but yeah, that's 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 the new uh, uh, new circumstances that we are uh, uh, fighting with. That we probably can shoot the most striking image, and we believe that it could change the world. But then it comes with a fake caption, and everything. All your efforts are ruined, and. Uh, you cannot you cannot fight it back yeah that's 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 sad